Shubodaya. This Shanti Mantra talks about uh, the whatever virtues mentioned in the Upanishads, may they come and rep take repose in me. May I be an embodiment of, become an embodiment of virtues. The no two things are same, and there is no. It's a, there is a, all cannot be equal, and the two things are not the same, and all cannot be equal. All are equal remains as a slogan only in a political circle. In political slogan, uh, all cannot be equal. Everyone is different, and uh, difference is the beauty of this world. The, uh, the difference, gradation is there in the family itself. Everyone has uh, his or her own role to play, and there is a gradation in the orga organi organization. Organization, grades are there. In the party room itself, there are the grades. Difference is there in the grades uh, in the party room. The, uh, um, the farming sector, the farming sector, they thrive on uh, uh, the immigrants, the low paying immigrants. Trades, trading sector work on uh, low paying um, uh, paid uh, immigrants. They survive based on that one. Economy survives on that one. All cannot be the same. You can't say everyone get the top dollar, country cannot run. There should be in the farming sector, trade sector, everywhere there is a lower grade and higher grade. The grade, it's a part of the world. You cannot say everyone is the same. Everyone is equal. Everyone cannot be equal. It is not practical in the world also. And in the body also, in the body is made up of um, five layers. Outer layer is called as the stula sharira. And uh, as the panchakosha, uh, inside the breath sheath, mind sheath is there, intellectual sheath is there, and um, the bliss sheath, uh, each sheath, they are not the same. They are qualitatively different. You cannot say all sheets are the same. As we start going within, the quality increases, value increases, enrichment increases as you start going within. If it is only everything is equal, there is no point in doing the sadhana. Sadhana means as you start going in, you start getting enriched. Enriched, outer sheath, outer sheath is um, annamaya kosha, it's a um, casing. It is covering the product, outer sheathing, it's just a packing. Inside, there is a product is there. Inside, um, annamaya kosha from the um, uh, annamaya, inside pranamaya kosha is there. And manomaya kosha, mind is the differentiator between one is successful in life or failure in life. What is the key differentiator? Mind, manomaya kosha. Last week I talked about Manumaya Kosha is like a king, is at the center and having two other Koshas on the either side. Other side, memory sheath and bliss sheath. Bliss sheath, the Bhagavad Gita Shri Krishna talks about uh, uh, the uh, Indriyani Paranyahu, Indriyabhya Param Manaha, Manatastu Para Buddhi, Yo Buddhe Paratastu Saham. He talks about the importance of going in, how to enrich yourself in uh, outer casing, Indriyani. Having a body is good. Having be, been born as a human is good. Higher than that one, one who is having a able, all uh, the senses are working well. My eyes, eyes, is, eyes are not working well. I can't see properly. I can't hear properly. I can't talk properly. I can't move properly. I can't move my hands properly. Then it is not good. Higher than that one, all senses are working good. That is higher than that one. One who has all these, they are called as Sri. Sri means one who has an, the wealth. Real wealth is these senses. Not wealth in the bank. Wealth in the uh, your investment, it is all secondary. The main investment, you are a real rich person, one who has all the able senses. 
ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಪರಾಣ್ಯಾಹು ಇಂದ್ರಿಯೇಭ್ಯ ಪರಂ ಮನಃ ಮನಸ್ಸಸ್ತು ಪರಾಬುದ್ಧಿ ಯೋ ಬುದ್ಧೆ ಪರತಸ್ತು ಸಹ ದೀಸ್ ದ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅವರ್ ಜೀವ ಜೀವ ಈಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೈವ್ ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಲಾಕರ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕೋಶಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಲಾಕರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರೆಷಿಯಸ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ that soul is confined to this body whereas the supreme soul paramatma is there everywhere god is there everywhere we are confined to this body this soul is confined to this body whereas the supreme lord he is there in everyone's soul within everyone's soul along with everyone's soul he is there in every body that is the paramatma <coughs> the the food food plays a very important role for uh, keeping the body and the mind healthy the food plays an important role and um, uh, um, the people uh, talk about uh, my memory is weak my memory is weak is the food is the important and uh, um, the chandogya chandogya upanishad uh, um, uh, talks about uh, the importance of dhruva smriti his smritir lambe vipra the smritir smritir lambe sarva granthi nam vipra moksha good memory with the good memory smritir lambe when the memory becomes good you are all the knots in the life all the complications in your life goes down and vipra moksha ha one finds a freedom in uh, in life ahara shuddho sattva shuddhi it talks about ahara shuddho you have to have a pure food ahara shuddho sattva shuddhi if you want to have a mind mind is a king i said if you want to have a king in you uh, working properly ahara shuddho mindful of the food what you are eating ahara shuddho sattva shuddhi your mind becomes calm serene sattva shuddho uh, dhruva smriti hi your memory becomes good my memory is very weak i forget i don't know what to do then you are pay your attention to what you are eating ahara shuddho sattva shuddhi sattva shuddho dhruva smriti smritir lambe sarva granthi nam vipra moksha ha the food plays a very dominant role the dominant role and the gross part of the food what we eat it comes out as a stool gross part is rejected by the body and um, mild milder portion of the food what we eat goes into your muscles in um, body building the fine part of the food it goes into your mem- mind memory people say you are what you eat and people say if you are uh, uh, not thinking properly they say what you eat and what you eat dhruva smriti hi for the fine part of the food what you eat goes to your mind same is the drink uh, the drink the gross part of the drink you eat comes out of as urine the mild part of the uh, drink it goes into your blood stream the fine part of the food goes comes out in it uh, affects your talking mindful of what you are drinking people uh, 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 keep their uh, wine bottled rack at home and they are not mindful of what they are doing in their life they are wrecking their life and children's life children's life and uh, dhruva smriti hi what you are eating and what you are drinking affects your mind affects your talking affects your action mind that kayena vacha manasendriya irva it talks about you, your personality is defined on brilliant thinking brilliant talking brilliant action for that the food plays a very important role what you eat it plays a very important role mindful of what you are eating mindful of what you are eating when you are eating so much of uh, pollution comes into the body 
we fall sick many people they say i should not eat and i should not eat and i'm not feeling good and they have a craving for food craving for food i want to eat that one i want to eat that one the overcoming the tongue the, the con- uh, tongue is ruling us overcoming the tongue is difficult even for a yogi yogi also finds it difficult without that one i can't the it says one who has overcome the craving of the tongue then it said that person is started moving making progress in yoga the first this tongue is connected to swadhisthana chakra swadhisthana chakra piercing that one it is a challenge for a yogi also one who has mastered my the tongue there is no more craving whatever food the taste is not a driver for me the driver people they say come come for a lunch i am waiting for that one i am dinner not i am not impelled by the food is not a driver i am not uh, the driver and um, the uh, one who um, overcomes the craving is the making a progress overcome the uh, that's a tongue mindful of what you are eating the, uh, the mindful of what you are eating yesterday was uh, ekadashi for example in shastras they talk about every fortnight you observe the fasting observe the fasting ekadashi one benefit is uh, you start mastering your tongue the second one so much of impurities come come into the body the um, uh, in the in the manufacturing state in the produce fertilizer chemicals uh, and additives they add into the food uh, it goes into the body one way of uh, purging out the toxins is fast you fast fast body starts repairing itself body starts healing itself and the fasting uh, the in ayurveda also it is uh, talks about langanam param aushadam the highest of the medicine is fasting the fasting the, um, uh, the langanam param aushadam it's uh, observe fasting once in 15 days scriptures has said why they have mentioned 15 days once in ekadashi they fix the date if they don't fix the date you will say okay i will do and i'll forget they fix the date this is the 11th day it's a moon's position moon and mind is connected together to keep the mind good and uh, to keep the mind good you uh, control the food the 11th day it is called as ekadasha ekadasha rudra 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 is connected to the mind shiva is connected to the mind to keep the mind good on that day you fast fasting gives the the brilliant memory brilliant mind and makes the body healthy and many ailments ailments in the they say cancer cancer cell the uh, cancerous cells they start uh, eating unwanted cells unwanted cells toxins polluted ce- the cells they get consumed by doing the fasting the fa- fasting it is uh, you observe the fasting you feel the exu- exuberance of energy and uh, we um, on the um, the when uh, on the other days also when we are eating we, we don't know whether um, we are eating the right food or not so you offer it to the god you offer it to the all uh, the purifier the most purifier is supreme god think of him when you think of him whatever toxins are there whatever poison is there in the food i am eating may the most purifier dissolve all the poison make it pure so that may the food pure food go into me we initially we eat the food and upanishad also talks about and slowly food starts eating us we survive on the food we die because of the food we un uh, the uncontrollable food we that no control over the tongue we die because of the food we survey on the food may it's uh, talking about may the food enter into me as an ambrosia prananam granthi rasi mam vishantakah 
in uh, Rudram, it is talking about, may the food enter into me as a life-giving energy, not antaka. May it not enter into me as my death. Ma vishantakaha. May the food I enter, eating enter into me as a life-giving energy. May it not enter into me as the cause of my destruction. And that purity is called a shaucha. It is one of the niyamas. Niyamas of um, uh, the um, uh, yoga niyama foundation, shaucha, purity. Purity of the body, purity of the mind. Be mindful of the pure food. How to purify that one? You offer it to all pervading God who is the most purest. Shaucha, shaucha is the important. The purity of thinking, purity of talking, purity in action comes and food plays a major role in shaucha.